Hi everybody, my name is Amanda Kimas and welcome to the AWS Online Summit. Today I had the pleasure of talking to you about our enterprise workload and specifically Windows on AWS. In today's ever increasing competitive market, our customers are really focused on a couple of things. They're really focused on differentiating their companies, innovating at speed, the flexibility to migrate at their own terms while reducing risk and still being compliant and controlled. In 11 years of innovation with enterprise workload and innovation being at the heart of IT, I get a lot of questions on the innovations that we have on Windows and AWS. Just so you know, AWS has been running Windows workload in AWS Cloud since 2008, and this is really the innovation that which is really driving the excitement and the energies around it as well. More customers are running our Windows workload in AWS more than any other public cloud provider out there. And this doesn't really happen by accident. It happens because of you wanting to run it on our platforms and us developing the best practice and business offerings that we have for you on this workload. Now, a lot of our customers wanted to simplify and drive innovation faster. As we continue to experiment and innovate as we hear from you, you keep telling us on what you need and we keep inventing for it. So there is a lot of themes which we have developed for you in providing the best experience in being able to run your application, database infrastructure. So we made sure we have all of that for you, which includes uh, integration and file level, identity and access management, management level two. Moreover, let's talk about why customers choose AWS for the Windows workload. 11 years, there's no compression algorithm for experience at all. Windows workload on AWS has been running since 2008, which is four years longer than Azure. Adobe, Autodesk, Capital One, General Electric, Hess, Kaplan and many more customers trust AWS to run business critical workload of Windows workloads such as Exchange, SharePoint, SQL Server, Active Directory, and Dynamics. We also have the largest global reach and the most highly available architecture. An AWS region is made of multiple physically separate data centers, availability zones, or what we like to call AZ, that run on distinct power grids to provide high degree of disaster protections and high availability. We equally offer security, compliance, and governance services, which includes things like HIPAA compliance, GDPR, um, NIST 800 to 171, which is meaningfully more than any other cloud provider. We also have the broadest and deepest platform. AWS is continually expanding our services to support virtually any cloud workload and enterprise applications. We launched SQL Server 2017 on Linux and .NET Core on Linux earlier this year to help make it easier for customers begin their cloud journey. Customers has already used AWS database migration services to migrate more than 45,000 databases since it is launched on March 2006 from SQL to Postgres to Aurora. As we continue to bring value to our customers with our price reductions, which includes SQL standard reducing last year. Now I want to talk about the business value of running Windows workloads on AWS. We really wanted to make sure that you drive the most business value out of choosing AWS as your cloud platform for your Windows workload. We work with IDC, and IDC interviewed organizations running Windows workload in AWS Cloud. IDC conducted in-depth interviews with 12 organizations that are running various Windows workload, including enterprise application workloads, database workload, and custom applications in AWS Cloud. The interviews were designed to understand the impact of these organizations of running their Windows workload on AWS compared to previous IT infrastructure and environments. On average, the interviewed organizations were large with 28,000 employees and almost five billion per year in revenue. The interviews revealed that these AWS customers achieved significant value by making Windows applications and database environments more efficient and cost-effective, while also being able to meet business demands through greater ability and improved performance. 
So AWS hosts nearly 2x as many Windows Server instances in the cloud as the next largest cloud provider. AWS has run Windows in AWS for over a decade, and currently, according to an IDC report, we host nearly two times as many Windows Server instances in the cloud than the next public cloud provider. We have hundreds of thousands of customers bringing Windows to AWS, including customers that you're familiar with, like Autodesk, which has been running Windows on AWS for over 10 years, Salesforce, which has over 10,000 Windows dedicated instances on AWS, Cisco Food, for example, the largest food service distributor moved 50% of their workload to AWS. Most critical rehosted mainframe, mainframe simulator running on AWS server. Choose AWS for Windows because of scalability, reliability, performance. Pitney Bowes, for example, move its Windows-based workload supporting e-commerce platform out of a collated data center to AWS with zero downtime and without disrupting its customers. Unilever, another big name as a large enterprise, needed a cloud hosting provider with a global infrastructure to support hundreds of web properties around the world. In addition to realizing the benefit of improved business agility and operational efficiency, Unilever sees a competitive advantage of being on AWS. Ancestry easily migrated from SQL Server 2008 to SQL Server 2016 to support their continued growth and cloud acceleration, and now to Aurora. They've also leveraged Amazon S3, AWS Fargate, and 30 services as part of their modernization journey. Now let's talk about the Windows on AWS momentum. Windows is truly a first-class citizen on AWS. We've also have CloudWatch application inside for .NET and SQL Server that continuously analyzes various application logs and infrastructure metrics to automatically detect common problems, such as failed SQL backups, impeding your application. Once you onboard your .NET application, you can identify and troubleshoot problem pretty easily through system-generated insights. You can then further drill into specific issue with CloudWatch automatic dashboard. So reducing costs by leveraging existing Microsoft development is something that we really want to make sure that you have uh, the opportunity and the capability to do. No other cloud provider has helped customers migrate to the cloud architecture through a rich set of migration planning best practice. Minimizing risk, we have the longest history in helping customers navigate along their digital transformation. Improving your security posture is our best in class security solutions. With over 50 compliance certificate, we also help you save money in your existing investment in Microsoft of applications, with flexibility to bring your own licenses, or BYOL as we like to call it. For many new applications, you can also purchase Windows Server licenses for your EC2 instance purchase from us. And likewise, learn from experienced partners because we have numerous partners within our APN partner networks that are certified in helping customers in moving their Windows workload to AWS. We worked with a range of partners from system integrators all the way to application development partners to ensure we have the broadest range of partners for every single type of customers. Premier support for AWS customers running Microsoft Workload is also available. Customers who have subscribed to AWS support at the business or enterprise tier can submit issues through AWS Support Center console. If the AWS support engineer finds that the problem is due to a Microsoft product or driver, the AWS support engineer can file a case with Microsoft and proceed with joint troubleshooting. So there is a lot of benefits and there is a lot of FAQ available online. So um, available on this topic as well. Customer success in running Windows on AWS. We have three customers that I really want to talk in greater in-depth for. We have Infor, uh, who spoke at reInvent in 2017. They say that they've seen much stronger performance for their database backup workloads, and they've also seen 75% on their monthly backup clouds in terms of savings. This is Randy Young, their Director of Cloud Operation. Cisco Food, as I spoke about earlier, largest food 
service distributor, you know, really high volume, low margin business before cloud heavily outsourced and a number of like you say application, always on, always available, global availability to innovate. Old grill technology, they really move 50% of their workload to AWS. Most critical re-hosted mainframe, mainframe emulator running on a Windows server, they move it to AWS because of scalability, reliability, and performance. Lastly, but although it's not the last, Edward Life Sciences would take them a lot longer and a lot more expensive um, to move to the cloud until they you know, decided to work with AWS. We process intensive features, migration path, and guess what? We've completed intermigration in three and a half to four months, which is really fast. Major benefit is that we work on something that is our core competency, while you work on something that is your comp core competency. We just make sure that we are there for you when you needed it. Heavy lifting goes away, right? The company was really faced with a lengthy capital refresh cycle of over two years with a lot of disparate data center. AWS selection was based on a very detailed POC. Customer tools and new, no new data center approach to move 500 applications in 2016 to AWS. And guess what? 2,000 applications in 2017. So our objective is really to assist customers, whether they are already on AWS, still on premise, and to modernize them off uh, in AWS completely. A typical customer journey may start with moving some project workloads from on-prem into the cloud, and then moving on into broad migration, then optimization, and finally, to full modernization of the application. This result in lower technical debt and more cloud-native services on AWS. At AWS, we have programs to assist customers everywhere they are in their cloud migration journey. Our experiences with customers point to four dominant modernization pathway, and this is where I'm gonna talk about it right now. Uh, pathways such as .NET to containers, Doc, ZocDoc, for example, broke their monolithic .NET applications into containerized microservices that they migrated to the cloud. They used the cloud microservices and containers to incre increase the output efficiencies of their engineers. And with containers-based model, they can deploy more containers in demand as increased three times more delivery from re engineering team. Reduction of appointment booking time from 24 days to 24 hours. That is amazing. The second path is, for example, .NET to serverless, for example. MindTouch is a technology company that designed SaaS computer software and online services. MindTouch modernized their legacy C Sharp applications into .NET Core. Before, they used VMs that needed to be patched, but now they use serverless to streamline their workload. They move into serverless in a big way, and their application now use dozens of Lambda functions to increase deployment speed. Now I'm going to talk about SQL Server on Linux. In 2018, we announced SQL Server 2017 on Linux, providing you with flexibility to deploy SQL Server application on either Windows or Linux on EC2. That's really valuable because you can significantly lower costs when running SQL Server on Ubuntu by 20% and even higher savings with reserve instances. You can choose from various distribution, including Ubuntu, Red Hat, and Amazon Linux too. You can standardize across one operating system, choosing either Windows or Linux. Innovations like this are really driven by you. We strive to deliver the best experience for you so you can focus on your competitive differentiators. Customers that has modernized .NET applications are a plenty. And here's just a small set, right? .NET applications by shifting to .NET Core, for example, microservices architecture, Compatibility with Windows containers, high performance, scalability, and cross-platform support. There's really a plenty to choose from. For example, MindTouch is a technology company that is headquartered in San Diego, California, that designs SaaS computer software and online services. They modernize their legacy C-sharp applications to .NET Core. Before, they used VMs that needed to be patched, but now they use AWS serverless to streamline their workload. They moved to serverless in a big way, and their application now used dozens of Lambda function to increase deployment speed. So we have an unparalleled options, and we support our customers every step of the way, from migration to modernization, with many different programs and array of certified partners that has a strong market relevance 
wherever you are. So get started today. Learn more about Windows on AWS by simply visiting www.aws.com slash windows, where you can find an array of resources from licensing information or customers like yourself that have migrated their Windows workload successfully to AWS. Also download the sales study guide. Get in touch with us to discuss how AWS is the best place to run your Windows workload today.